Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I wanted to start a new series called Check Yourself Tuesday, where basically I'm gonna have a bit of a commentary on something that I feel like people need to check themselves with. As I will be a little bit like critical, hopefully constructively, um, I thought it would be only fair to kind of like low-key roast myself just to set the tone for it and just so that hopefully it's not misunderstood. I feel like my mum is gonna come and bother me now. Oh my <laughs> she didn't even close the door. I literally told her I'd be filming. Oh my gosh. Sometimes it's like, I'm not heard, but anyway. Let's get back to what's at hand. Check Yourself Tuesday, um, and this first installment, I'm going to be spilling the tea on myself. I kind of started making notes of what my laptop here, um, but I, I may be compelled to like add to them or kind of just add to my roasting. So the first one I put down is that I can sometimes be a bit fickle slash flaky. Um, and obviously that's just really annoying and like cancelling on plans or like last minute saying I don't want to do something or turn up to something is really frustrating and annoying but like behind that it's just because I am predisposed to being quite anxious um, and like the situation might be too overwhelming for me so I'm kind of like shutting down and I really should just try and communicate that a bit better or kind of let all of my kind of qualms about the situation be known before. So like, I haven't really properly been going into Central that much at all or I'm usually accompanied by someone. Um, and the other day I really want to see Nalini. So I like just let her know about everything. Like even though nowadays people can you can like use city map or google maps and like navigate um the city or wherever by yourself i know myself in terms of even when i have google maps i still get lost i just get confused so i asked nalini to meet me at the station um so she could kind of just take me home because i was like i need that extra help <laughs> um but in my typical sense of being a little bit like away with the fairies and just trying to like keep my head down I accidentally got on the wrong train and then it went past the stop I was supposed to be getting off at so I had to walk so I just remember being on the train being like um Nalini I've messed up big time <laughs> but luckily like obviously communicating that to her I could she could then kind of direct me where to go um and then even when I got to where I was supposed to be like standing waiting for her I was still like really discombobulated and confused but like if I hadn't communicated that to her I probably would have just like gone home and turned around and been like you know what forget this whole thing but I kind of stuck with it just by letting her know um what was going on and like calling her and stuff so there we go. Another thing is that I can sometimes be quite tense and snappy, um, but I've figured out that there's probably like something underlying going on and sometimes you just kind of need to recenter yourself to be in the moment and just like try and be a little bit kinder to whoever you're interacting with because like last year someone wanted to like ask me something or they needed help with something um, and on Facebook Messenger, they like sent the wave thing because you can wave. And I just remember <laughs> I was really like irritable because of my insomnia and I hadn't slept. And I was just like, what do you want? And they obviously were just like, oh my gosh, sorry to bother you. Then like, I just kind of explained that I just was slightly irritable and I could sense they wanted something and I just wanted them to be like direct. Because um, sometimes I just think that's just easier. I like 
don't beat around the bush let's just get right to it let's not mess around but obviously I could have approached that in a much kinder way instead of like having to apologize for my behavior I could just behave better in the first place within that same vein like being irritable if I've noticed that maybe like particular situations or people or just in general I'm like irritable I kind of need to just have a moment look to myself and be like what is bothering me and let me sort it out like if something's like niggling at me a little bit I should just try and sort it out there and then rather than just kind of letting it sit and build and kind of become compounded um and that's kind of why you end up holding a grudge or having resentment against people um and like I personally cannot deal with being angry at people or like people being angry at me like I just really don't like it like if I if I fight with my siblings and we go to bed really annoyed at each other and like in a half like silent treatment in the morning I'll be like fine and just try and talk to them and obviously they'll still be like mad at me um but I'll just be like I just want to talk now I want us to be friends again so it really bothers me um I'm not that kind of person that can like channel their anger and like really get something out of it um like some of my friends um I just don't really like being angry it just eats away at me and I just can't stand it it just bothers me so I'd rather kind of try and sort it out than being continually frustrated and maybe like blowing up um because I feel like sometimes when you have arguments or like get really irritated by like the littlest thing is because it's like compounded from something else and what you're actually like fighting about isn't really what the issue is if that makes sense I hope that that's coming across I hope you know what I mean but yeah another thing is I'm easily startled and it is a bit of an issue like I think my mom constantly just doesn't get why I'm so easily startled she's like in your own home because sometimes she's very cat like she'll just creep up and you turn around and she's suddenly there and it really freaks me out um and I feel like most people tend to do that but I think maybe it's just because I've completely tuned out what's going on and I'm just focused in on something so I just don't expect them to be there um and I know like sometimes people just find it funny that I am easily startled um so this is kind of annoying because I tend to leave my phone on silent because if it vibrates it freaks me out I feel like it just messes up like my sense of like calm or serene um or like having my phone having the ringer on because I feel like that also <laughs> really freaks me out um because I tend to get quite a lot of like notifications for things because you know I like social media and stuff um and sometimes I can be a bit hard to get in contact with or if I've lost my phone I know I need to find it like I can't find it because it's not on vibrate or on ringer so that's a really annoying kind of comes down to me and my anxiety and just being like really like on edge and after like a session doing CBT which is cognitive behavioral therapy um my therapist was just kind of talking about the science behind it which I find really useful to try and like understand what's going on and there to be an explanation that you're just not like insane um to a degree um so basically she was talking about how um evolution she was talking about in terms of evolution we um have this kind of a feeling of being anxious that comes from adrenaline which has something to do with fight or flight mode so like if you are in danger or there is a threat to your life you can kind of go between those two options so that was more so in the days of like when there were predators so you could either fight off the predator or like get out of there to kind of save your life um in this modern era that's not really much of an issue like i'm not just gonna go outside and be attacked by a bear or anything like that um humans are their own category of threats but that's not what we're talking about and my issue is that i seem to constantly be on that edge of fight or flight for no apparent reason like i'm just constantly anxious and i need to kind of like 
recenter myself and like breathe and realize that it's rational and that I just need to like calm down and I'm probably not in imminent danger that I know of. I can be very, very enthusiastic. Like I will hold up my hand and say I am a fangirl kind of person. Like if I'm like into something, I will probably like rave about it like all the way. Um, not not necessarily maybe loyal for life fangirl, but like at the moment absolutely raving, kind of a little bit obsessed with it. But obviously sometimes that's a bit much for people and just in general like I know I have such enthusiasm for like games pub quizzes all those kind of things but I'm notoriously not actually that good at them like when it comes to games I always say this I just don't tend to be that great like my poker face is just not the one what I was trying to say regarding the games thing is that I can get like really competitive um, because I'm so enthusiastic and I'm really into it and you know I'm just down for whatever the cause is but just because I'm enthusiastic doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at it or I'm thriving in it so playing articulate I remember playing with my friends and they're just like no one wants to be on Margaret's team because I just like go for it even though I don't really know what I'm talking about or what's going on but I just I'm having a great time in that sense like my enthusiasm can be a bit much also just like in general like I feel like I could maybe be like a little bit intense um as a friend sometimes or I'm just like blurting out all this love and I'm like calm down because sometimes like to be on the receiving end is a bit like suffocating or awkward like I'm still struggling with compliments like it just makes me feel so uncomfortable or if someone keeps like complimenting you I'm just like stop please stop I don't like it just stop so as much as I love giving out flattering compliments like sometimes I just need to like dial it down just like chill out that I've got like loads of interests in different things um, and I'm really enthusiastic about them but obviously it's not possible for me to do everything as much as I'd like to. It's just like remembering that you know you're human, there's only so much you can do and just like take it a little bit easy. But on the plus side of being enthusiastic I'm definitely a team player um, especially when it comes to sports as long as there's no like dribbling involved because I can't seem to get the coordination right. Netball is my jam because as soon as you've got the ball in your hands your feet have to stop and that makes sense for me. Just like what else can I drag myself about? I know people who know me probably have could like list loads of stuff. This is by no means an exhaustive list but I think that's enough for today. I'm sure I can always roast myself again. This was a check yourself Tuesday, um, there shall be more and I'd like to cover things like in regards to like feminism, intersectionality, um racism education just loads of things because some people will be running their mouths and it just like no 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 but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to try and get it uploaded today um and i'll see you next time with another video bye thanks for watching Oh my gosh, I forgot about my tea.